Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2016 in Geneva, Switzerland. I'm joined by Philip Metziker, Director General of Ofcom Switzerland. Philippe, it's been Geneva, it's been Switzerland who's been playing a leading role in these WISIS forums since 2003. How have priorities changed? Um, well, I think the um, priorities change in the sense that the, the world has become even more complex. I mean, everybody was looking at the information society with a degree of uncertainty at the time. Uh, and now we're realizing that uh, we're going past, in, in fact, we're going past the information society stage. It's not just information and, and um, uh, data flow anymore. It's a digitization that kicks in at all the levels of our lives. And, and so I think the complexity will increase. Um, and the challenges will increase as well, and especially for, um, for um, organizations like mine, which has had a traditionally very clearly defined role, it's also becoming a challenge to, you know, to know what the limits are in a sense, and where we have to uh, reach out to other uh, stakeholders uh, to try and uh, crack the challenges. And that's what WISIS is all about, isn't it? It's about public-private partnerships. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's, it's a concept of multi-stakeholderism um, that we're applying much more today, also at the national level. I think people uh, get to realize that, uh, of course, there will always be some laws we need, some basic uh, rules that have to be uh, respected and also enforced. Uh, but the, the, the community uh, realizes that it's becoming much more complex, that we need more uh, like uh, round tables, we have more roles of moderation, uh, of facilitation as well, we have more soft law uh, tools. Uh, and so that's something that is going to stay with us. In your opening remarks this morning, you said that we need to embrace digitalization, but also put the human being mm. at the center. Is this one of the challenges, reconciling the two? I, I think so, yes, absolutely. I think it, uh, in ICT, we've all experienced that. We've all, all had uh, probably advisors on ICT telling us what computer we should, need, we should use and then realized it doesn't fit our needs, that we uh, you know, process uh, things. And, and so I think that's a constant challenge, not to forget we are human beings. There are limits uh, as to what we can, you know, and how quickly we can adapt, what we can absorb. Um, and of course, with an overall digitization uh, at all levels, uh, this becomes something we have to constantly remind us, uh, remind ourselves even more. And it's also, of course, about bringing in some of the more excluded groups to this process of yeah. digitization. Women, how are we going to unleash the potential of women and girls? Of course, this uh, starts at the fundamentals of any, of any state. I mean, it has got to do with, uh, with, with equality, uh, equal treatment. And I think we see still many patterns in our non-digital lives, so to say, where we have to be extremely vigilant and also as uh, leaders, uh, as managers, uh, to constantly make efforts to bring everybody on board. Um, and then when it comes to the ICTs, it's true, we have a challenge. We see that very much in Switzerland. We're not very good, um, if you look at the technical profession, um, of motivating young women and girls uh, to, to come on board. We just uh, did at Ofcom uh, on the 28th of April, we celebrated the Girls in ICT Day that ITU has uh, launched a few years ago. And um, it is not so easy to, to get the, the attention from, from the, the female community, the young uh, women as well. Uh, and so I think we we're, have a huge challenge on our hands there. And I think it, you have to be in, in it in the long haul. This is not something where you can just do a show and then one year later this is all going to turn around. So it really requires a lot of stamina. Uh, but I think ultimately um, we, we are going to go close the gap. Whether we will get, ever get there in a sort of 50-50 share, that's another story. But um, we, have to keep, we have to keep going, we have to keep digging. And you have to keep going until 2030 because, of course, you're trying to align the WISIS mm. action lines with the sustainable development goals. Yeah, I think there will be also a, uh, I mentioned the complexity before, there will also be a challenge uh, from that perspective because uh, we have, of course, a, a WISIS, which is a great place to, to, to get uh, things done and also deliver best practices to others. But now we have some very clear goals that are set by uh, at the United Nations level and we have to bring that together, uh, make it fit with what WISIS is, is, is doing. Um, and I think the making it concrete and putting the programs in place that we need for that is, is a big challenge because we have such a huge disparity uh, if you look at the global community. 
Philip Metziger, Director General of Ofcom Switzerland. Thank you very much for joining us. And please do join us on the ITU YouTube channel where we will be interviewing regulators, ministers, experts on ICTs all week here at the WISIS Forum. Thank you very much. <laughs>